Ride My Avatar bringing you another amazing deck profile from none other than my favorite clan to yours, Neo Nectars. Well, we have the Neo King bringing you your deck profile from Neo Nectars for this event. And this is one of two. If you guys want to see the Maiden deck, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make that list for you. But we are going to start off with probably the most powerful deck that this deck can ever achieve. And that is Musketeers. They, they really hit the ground running with this deck. I'm not even joking. Like, out of everything they could have done, Musketeers is everything we needed. Um, she, it just does everything we've wanted for a while and what we were lacking. We were missing on-hit pressure and stuff like that just to keep our opponent at bay. And let's dive right into the showcase. So, let's go over what I brought in, what we are taking out, and everything like that. So, first off, we're going to start with, you know, Broccolina Musketeer, Kyra. She doesn't go anywhere because being able to grab our now two optimal ride targets for our Vanguard is fantastic. Um, now we have two shots at grabbing our Grade 3 we need. Um, next, we do play four Arno as our sentinel because again we need a new pg red rose musketeer is just phenomenal we play one of america and then four of rebecca because rebecca is still fantastic being able to retire one to fuel the graveyard to help with our main grade three's effects is just fantastic we also do have mina because mina will help us hit the limit break four a little bit faster we are still playing like this zell variant that we are and we're just slightly better now because we have new cards like Pansy Musketeer Sylvia. Because when plays reveal the top card of your deck, if it's a Musketeer, call it. If not, shuffle your deck. Um, we literally play enough Musketeers, but the only mus non-Musketeer I'm going to say right now is we play the Break Ride. Um, for one reason, one reason only, so that we whiff if it is the heal trigger. I don't want to call my heal triggers to rear. We can't bring them back. We can't put them back. So I'd rather have it get shuffled back into the deck for a second go round. Um, White Rose Albino is our counter charger. We've needed a counter charger for this deck. It's not even funny. Um, being able to now have an on hit counter charger is really good. We also play three Augusto because, again, 3000K. Becoming a 12K beater is just. Woo. And then we play four of Calvian. Um, again, the grade two ratio is really tight. Like, you can go three 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 i think she's good at three um he's good at three or you can bring him up to four wouldn't be an issue um he could go to four and this go down three because we are using a lot of counter blast um we do definitely need to see him more often um next here is holly musketeer Elv elvira so when your musketeer rear guard is placed by your card effect counter blast one to get one critical until the end of turn i'm not joking this is what we've needed just for one counter blast we can ret pretty much change the flow of the game we force our opponent to now have to use their sentinels early because now we can get to three crits everything like that just to push for damage soul blast one retire musketeer rear guard to look at five cards from the top of your deck and call a musketeer really good because now soul blast one instead of counter blast does help out Next, here is our break ride. So when run upon, your Vanguard gets plus 1,000 until the end of turn. Call one of each of your deck with the same card name as two of your rear guards total two cards. Again, it's only in here because I wanted a non-targeting 11k that we didn't hit with our Pansy, our Sylvia, or force on to Cecilia. So again, very good. Um, Counter Blast, return three gr grade two or less musketeers from your drop zone to your deck to call two white lily musketeers cecilia really good skill being able to uh, with this errata we now have to now instead of have to get five which was an overly bearing tax just to be able to do its effect is just ridiculous now being only a three requirement just makes it so we now play a little bit better um, we play a little bit faster we can now cycle out a little bit quicker uh, retire a musketeer rear guard to look at the top five cards of your rear your deck to call a musketeer really good skills she's fantastic with her errata um and then we also have harima because 3k 
Um, we're playing five crit, four draw. I think this is a really good line. You could go five stands, four draws is an option too, just in case you feel more comfortable with that. Again, I like the new way of going things. This card definitely helps when, because you're shuffling your deck a lot, because we are going to be calling and causing effects to go off. So let's dive into the first fight, and hopefully it's a good one, boys and girls. I want to show you guys what true power of Musketeers. Yes, I have not up her outfit yet, which will be my next task. So catch me later today, like tonight, when we talk about Musketeers re really in depth, because I'm excited. Ooh, Aqua Force. This could be a really good game. So let's see what we can do. So first off, let's see. Ooh, we're gonna put the heel trigger back and we're gonna put this one grade one back. Nice, we got a PG out of the deal. We also got Sylvia. I mean, it's gonna hurt when we ride her on second, but our, maybe our draw twos will definitely fix that issue. Cause again, okay. So definitely, definitely fixed. Um. Hmm. 6k or 7k we're gonna have to go 7k and then fix up numbers later so what's gonna be really nice is mika is gonna get called to this column right here or even this to trigger a shuffle just because again we're gonna trigger to get big columns we're gonna push a little bit Ooh, that heal early ouch okay we'll make it do so we'll go on to our grade two turn and we're going to show you a really powerful grade two push, push turn. So as long as he doesn't hit everything on the other side, we're pretty dandy. Okay, 9k. That works for me. Okay. We got one hit. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Can you stop? So first off, yeah, we're gonna use get our counter charger in. So we're gonna call you, activate skill. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna grab our crit. Shuffle triggers that. Uh, excuse me. Didn't I shuffle the deck? So that triggers. Oh, no. It's not text-wise. That works for me. So we're going to call you. And what we're going to do. So this hits for 15. This hits for 13. So... 9k. Nice. And we'll hit for 15. Ew. Hits a heal trigger in response, which isn't bad. We counter charge. That's fine. We get to put the crit back. So turn endo. There we go. See? That's great planning. Okay. So Maelstrom comes down. I could definitely do the break ride if I wanted to attempt to stall out turns, but I think we could definitely just go Willy if he retires too much of our shit. So it's going to be very interesting. Wasn't expecting him to ride Maelstrom. Was expecting the break ride, and then we kind of get a turn and a half. But being able to now have five all our triggers pretty much in deck it really does help um ew if you have one or less other rear guards in rest this unit gets plus three thousand okay during your turn okay call 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 okay so he's gonna get a first hit here try to alleviate the pain Nice. We hit a heal trigger. Again. Okay. Hits here. 
That is two. Ew, hits that draw trigger, which we don't want him to do right now. Ew, double draw. Really? I mean, at least two glory's gone. We'll take that. We'll definitely take glory leaving. Sadly, the break ride's just not good enough here. So... Retire the back row booster. Call. Um, I'm going to probably say this is glitching because technically I shuffled the deck and she's not activating. Fan freaking dastic. First, second, draw trigger, nice. Power here. Ew. Dude's got lucky powers. Because there's no way normally that it would hit. But okay. Hitting all those draw triggers really did help him out a lot. And we're kind of out of heals. Got my early heals, which help, but right now he's playing original Maelstrom. This isn't helping. At all. Can I get a trigger, please? This is gonna hit now. <laughs> Jeez Louise. It doesn't really matter. One PG gone. That's still... He's got to have a PG left in his deck. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Ew. Okay, that's... Oh, break. Okay. So, at this point... Right, skip. We're just gonna call you. Not bad. No. We're gonna activate skill. Back, put back, put back. Oh, let's put PG back. Call, call. Okay, this is glitching. Cool. That's BS. Because I shuffled my deck. <laughs> Okie dokie then. That's just bad. No valid targets in any way, shape, or form for that. We lose just because we had no valid targets. I would laugh right now if I get another crit. Wow, we won just because of that. Don't get a heal, don't get a heal, don't get a heal. Oh, we won that. <laughs> uh, let's play another game real quick. <laughs> Oh, his face must have draw and jaw drop on that. Ah, are you kidding me? <laughs> nope. Let's go again. But definitely, um, I'm gonna have to email Bushy or um game developers. Go like, hey, your card doesn't work. <laughs> I shuffled the deck like 30 times. Doesn't activate. 
and there's no natural deck that just says shuffle your deck because you say so. Oh, great, Link Joker. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Um, we're going to put back one that does that. Okay, one PG. We can live with it. Going second yet again. I mean, we could definitely rush him hard. Like, it's a high probability of doing that. What is the probability of doing it? 95%. Oh, great. A useless card. Oh, when it this unit boosts, if you shuffled your... Oh, frig. I've been reading that card completely wrong. Well, GG. Hey, look, draw trigger. Nice. We take that. He's going to go to grade two. Let's see which grade two he rides. Oh, of course, he's got Mobius Breath. Most decks are still leaning on that card for some reason, which isn't bad. Okay, we got the brake ride. That's not terrible. If he only understood that, that was just a... Ooh, we even got better. Okay. Cool. I mean, we really don't want a full board at this point, but... Don't gift a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, I was really hoping for a crit there. I mean, it would have brought chaos out, but that's fine. A break right turn ain't gonna kill us because I don't care. I'm not calling anything over there. Oof. Hit me, daddy. Okay. Dude got two PGs, so we're fine. He's going to draw his card. Am I going to move anything up? Oh, hell no. Am I going to let him attempt to lock just back row? Go for it, bud. But I'm going to make my columns mine. Take that one. And then we're just going to go straight to battle phase. First. Second. Ooh. Sadly, that whiffs. That's fine. We don't need overpowered attacks. We just need to go to limb break. Dang it. Oh, come on. We'll go to limit break. Call. And then we're gonna Soul Blast one. Retire the Rebecca. Never something juicy. Rebecca gain another crit. Because we're just Gauntlet Buster dot deck now. So let's go.
first, second. What's nice is we can keep this up for a few turns. He cannot. <laughs> we are now playing the Raiji dot deck because we can. He can't heal. He can't do anything to us. We got PGs for days. And does not matter. First. Second. Ooh. Ride skip, of course. Let's see what we can get off the pansy. That's not bad. We, we care more about this skill right here. No, we're not invoking that. We're going to Soul Blast. One. Retire. Check that five. So much better of a call. And then we're just going to... Swing in. Swing in for three. First. Second. Ooh, we swing into four. Yes! That's how that goes, boys. Aw, that poor heal. Do you get double more heals? And that's how you do it. You play the Raiji game with this deck. This is basically Raiji in a different style. And it can get nasty real quick. As you could see, I kept him at bay, and he misplayed. Because, again, with him healing out, normally, yes, I would have played differently if he didn't heal. But that heal hurt him more than anything. So, guys, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!